quick controller and camera settings video for you then guys so here's the game settings it's like um you know you just go settings whatever um but then you go over here to game settings the only one that really matters is camera obviously you guys can go through the other stuff if you want i play on car but you know it's up to you guys um telebroadcast is also really really popular but co-op just sees more true balls and let's see what's really op this year true balls um that broadcast really good for dribbling what's really bad this year dribbling so i think co-op is a clear choice um i'm using 1010 at the moment i previously changed it i mean it's really just your preference but i really do recommend co-op these settings down here height and zoom kind of adjust it to your level it also changes per stadium so it's not even exactly the same every stadium but that's that done pretty fast um also power shot zoom like you gotta turn that off unless you're playing like career mode i think that that's probably the only viable game mode you can uh, use it gotta turn that off we're not trying to zoom in and no just no okay um then actual controller settings let's get into it competitive mass switch is on um i don't know what game modes this doesn't apply to okay it says competitive game modes so i would assume it's on in champs and rivals Maybe it's off for like moments or objectives or whatever. Um, but realistically, it's best to just keep it on so you're used to the same stuff all the time. Uh, true Battle Citizen, you definitely want semi. They took away assisted, so it's just manual semi. Always want semi. You don't want anything on manual. Okay, that's like rule of thumb. Have nothing on manual. Trainer, hide, of course. Time finishing. Now, I have it on because guess what? I like to time finish shots a lot. It is worth turning off if you don't use it because if like the ball is like around it in the area or it's kind of loose or whatever, sometimes you just want to spam the shoot button just to try and get a tap in somehow. And if you have time finishing on, that'll just automatically make a red shot. So if you don't use it, definitely do turn it off. But if you do, have it on. Uh, X player switch indicator. The reason I like this so much as well Okay, so it shows you who the L1 will change to. Is It actually is the same person that you second press with. So I do like that. It, it is quite nice. At least I believe that is true. I hope that's true. Um, pass block assistance. I just have it on. Uh, I think it's nice. Um, so then there's this auto switching. Um, so you can go manual, which I would never recommend. Only this ball also would never recommend. Air balls, um, you could. But if you're going to use air balls, you might as well do air balls and loose balls. But automatic you should never use because that every time they pass it'll switch your player and you can never properly control your defense so i do recommend on air balls and loose balls then there's this auto move assistance so this is how it carries on when you switch how fast you can take over the um player so i actually like it on high because sometimes you switch the player they're like running left um and if you have it on low or none as soon as you get to them it like stands still basically if you're like not going in a certain direction or if he was running left and you were moving right with another player you instantly move right usually like no leeway um so if you're doing that and maybe he was tracking a true ball or something um basically it's over because they're in now because you've dragged the defender the wrong way so high just gives me a bit more time um clear assistance classic i mean yeah i just have it on class that's when, when you just press the clear button just like keeps it out I guess directional could be handy, but uh, I never really cleared the ball anyways using um, circle. Um, player lock off. Um, I mean, that's that must have reset because I had that on and I used it like literally like two games ago. Um, so I like player lock on. I mean, you can turn it off if you don't use it. Obviously, same with a lot of these settings. Um, icon switching, I do have off though. I think that's awful. Not a fan at all. Right stick switching, so it'll be on adaptive by default. So that means the further you hold the right stick, the further away the player goes. Now there's two things to know about this. One, you do have to get used to that. Um, so you know there, there will be a learning curve to that. But secondly, um, apparently this actually freezes your game a lot. And a lot of people have been coming in my stream and complaining about that. Um, so I've just been using classic anyways, and I have had no problems. Um, but that's. As personal preference, I do think Classic is better, though. I don't even think you have the time to extend the right stick to drag someone, because any time your right stick switching means you need to get to this player fast. I think that just takes too long. Uh, I prefer player relative. Ball relative is suicide. Definitely have down player relative. Um, have all these assisted, pretty much, except the lob pass. 
lob pass when assisted it can just go to the wrong player because it doesn't account the power i believe yeah so it doesn't uh, account for the power i'm pretty sure so it can end up going to the wrong person so i like semi um then lob true pass you can't have this assisted anymore so it has to be on semi that's for the lob true balls uh save assistant only matters in pro clubs and like sprint turn that off if you have it on your players will go slower basically they'll accelerate slower um because it means if you like slightly push the analog to a side it'll only go a little bit unless you full press it then it'll go full speed whereas with it off even a slight direction will go instantly full speed so you do have faster acceleration pass receive lock late i like this but i don't like what they changed so for free kicks and goal kicks this now applies so if you're like passing out from a goal kick until he kicks the ball your left stick actually determines that direction so it doesn't lock in like it previously did so you can still change um sometimes it works well for free kicks if they like mark it and you can change it last second but for like goal kicks i keep accidentally passing it to them um so yeah early or oh, animation star oh they actually added animation star um that's actually that's pretty cool um and then power up as well but i prefer late because just too many times like if something gets covered and you want to be able to change it for me personally um but a lot of people love having the earlier ones um and then vibration stuff i have that turned off here i have it turned off my controller i just hate vibration um and then if you guys are wondering about my actual like button inputs for any reason i do just have the standard ones um some people do switch like second man press and stuff to like x and whatnot on defense but i'm not a fan of that so anyways guys if you enjoyed the video leave a like Subscribe for more content and I'll see you guys next time.